there it goes. Hey, <laughs> good morning. Well, it will be when you see this. This is a Saturday night, uh, about eight o'clock at night here. Uh, Marsh and I had a had a full day. We went out and, and uh, we've been packing some stuff up and, and getting things out, getting ready for a move, uh, get my sweetheart out of town, get me out of town. It's been been a good day. We've done quite a bit, haven't we? Yes, we have. Yeah. Went over the rent land and decided where I'm going to plant flowers and decide what color I'm going to paint the walls. Just a lot of stuff. <laughs> Did you get that figured, the paint colors figured yep. out? I know what I'm going to do. We've got a, there's a pond back on this place. Well, there's, it's got four ponds on it. And... They're all holding water. They all got water running in them. But the one closest to the house is spring fed. And That's beautiful. It's got this uh, water running down this hill and cascading over rocks. Um, I can just sit back there. I'm gonna, we're going to probably put a <laughs> picnic table. No, probably put a uh, bed. A bed. On you. <laughs> Put a bed back there. Uh, <laughs> we'll probably put a uh, what's that uh, gazebo. We'll probably put a gazebo back there, and uh, so we can have that. You know that'd be pretty neat, having a gazebo and, and be able to sit back there and listen to the the water run into this big pond. And uh, it's got fish in it. It's stocked. It's, it's got catfish and uh, bass. Bass. Bass in it. And the creek just is just is not very far just beyond it and dumps into the creek well the creek runs through the property uh, and we went across that today I got my old ford ranger and uh, we drove across this creek and up through the timber and up into the up into the top part of it and we want to go to another section but the creek come down on each side like that well uh my <laughs> i'm afraid i get down and get high centered Get a bumper stuck on one side. Bumper stuck that, on the other. <laughs> there we'd be. Yeah, I'd be. <laughs> I'm not pushing. No, we're not. No. She, she won't push me. Uh, that's up to me. <laughs> she said, we get stuck. Yeah, but you're walking. You're going to go get something to get me. Yep. But uh, we're excited to get out of town. It's the same same money going out every month. We're not, we're not upgrading our mortgage. Our mortgage is going to stay the same. So uh, the only difference is we got more area to, to run around on and, uh, and things, so. And for our grandchildren to play. Grandkids, you know, we can teach them. I, I put a garden in today. We tilled it up, my son-in-law. Uh, he helped me and we, we got the garden started. It's, it's uh, <coughs> probably 35 foot square anyway. I got one row planted. We put uh, 12, 18 cabbage plants in Got to put some more. And uh, about that many peppers. I got different pepper plants we put in. Come on. But we're going to put a lot of tomatoes in and okay. carrots. We're going to grow things to put in cans and can stuff up. But anyway, it's been a it's been an eventful day. I'm I'm tuckered out. And you know, I've told Mike before. I've never ever said that I was happy. And I'm happy now, and I see the world in a whole different light. It's wonderful. I know that that it's going to get rough, and things are going to be bad. But you know what? I've got Christ standing behind me, standing beside me, standing in front of me, and inside of me. And whatever <laughs> happens, it's going to be just fine. It's supposed to be that way. That's right. And I'm happy. She's happy. I'm happy. <laughs> so, anyway, I thought we'd do this uh, today and, and uh, share a little bit of our activity this weekend. So, I'm going to put this thing together now and, and I'll load it up in the morning. Uh, who knows? I may have to sleep in. <laughs> oh, well. But. We'll do this. This is on Colossians chapter 2. 
uh, verse 11, and I've got the, the uh, uh, what's that word? References. <laughs> I got the references to this thing uh, on Colossians 2.11 from the Concordant Literal Translation. Uh, if you don't have one of those, it's, it's good to have it because it's the best translation that there are. They they don't mix words up. You know, they don't have one word to mean three or four different things, which some translations do. Uh, but this is in Paul's writings, and the reason I only stick with Paul's writings is Christ revealed himself to uh, Saul on the road to Damascus, and he done it for a purpose. There's a reason for that, and we find that reason only through Paul's writings. Nobody else has this. This tells us the secret that was hid in God for before the Eonian times. This tells about that. All Paul's writings tells about that, about our celestial realm. We Nobody knows about that. Uh, even the churches, can, they can read this stuff, and they can't understand. You don't mix Paul's writings with Peter's epistles. You don't mix Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John with with any of uh, Paul's writings. It doesn't, it just don't work. Uh, it's like mixing oil and water. And this is talking about circumcision, uh, being circumcised in Christ. You know, uh, I really didn't understand that when I was growing up. We did. I didn't understand what this was as far as the Israel. They had to be circumcised in order to be a, a to be in the crowd, I guess, or what do you call it? But see, I didn't understand. I didn't know that. This is, this is coming is opening my eyes. I'm seeing more and more as I read this. And I've known this for a while now, but this is what this is talking about. All right, so uh, I'm gonna read this and 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 I'll put these references down at the bottom of the video so y'all have that. And we'll get this thing. <laughs> we'll get this thing started. All right. And whom you were circumcised. Also, with a circumcision not made, not made by hands, and the stripping off of the body of flesh, and the circumcision of Christ. But that which is hidden is the Jew, and circumcision is of the heart, in spirit, not in letter, whose applause is not of man, but of God. Beware of the main decision, for we are the circumcision who are offering divine service in the spirit of God and are not glorying in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in flesh. And we are, I'm sorry, we are glorying in Christ Jesus. I mis misread that. Get it right, bud. I'm getting it right. For we are aware that if our terrestrial tabernacle house should be demolished, we have a building of God, a house not made by hands, Eonian in the heavens. Wherefore, remember that once you, the nations in flesh, who are termed uncircumcision, by those termed circumcision in flesh, made by hands, knowing this, that our old humanity was crucified together with him, that the body of sin may be nullified for us, by no means to be still slaving for sin, for one who dies has been justified from sin. <laughs> To put off from you as regards your former behavior the old humanity which is corrupted in accordance with its seductive desires giggle yet now <laughs> you also being put away all these anger fury malice calamity obscenity out of your mouth do not lie to one another stripping off the old humanity together with its practices so that if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. The primitive passed by. Lo, there has come new. With Christ have I been crucified, yet I am living. No longer I, but living in me is Christ. Now that which I am now living in flesh, I am living in faith. That is of the Son of God, who loves me and gives himself up for me. That's what you were just talking about. What? You've been living with Christ have been crucified, yet I am living, no longer I, but living in me is Christ. Yep. Now that which I am now living in flesh, I am living in faith that is of the Son of God. Yep. Who loves me and gives himself up for me. Yep. Uh, that's Galatians 2.20. Now, when the full time came, God delegates his Son, come of a woman, come under law, that he should be reclaiming those under law, that we may be getting the place of a son. 
for him for his achievements are we being created in Christ Jesus for good works which God makes ready beforehand that we should be walking in them wherefore remember that once you the nations and flesh who are termed uncircumcision by those termed circumcision in flesh made by hands that you were in that era apart from Christ being alienated from the citizenship of Israel and guest of the promised covenants having no expectation and without God in the world yet now in Christ Jesus you who once were far off are becoming near by the blood of Christ for he is our peace who makes both one and raises a central wall of barrier the enmity in his flesh nullifying the law of precepts and decrees that he should be creating in two in himself into one new humanity making peace and should be reconciling both in one body to God through the cross killing the enmity in it and coming he brings the evangel of peace to you those afar and peace to those near <laughs> yeah <laughs> I can't add anything to that so <laughs> that brings us up to uh, Colossians 2.12 I've got it wrote out so uh, y'all ain't getting that today we'll do that for Monday all right, this video is going to get long if I do keep reading. But isn't that cool? You know, who we are in Christ. <laughs> I get, I get giggly. I can't help it. It just comes out of me. <laughs> Used to drive Marsha crazy. I get to giggling over here. What are you giggling about? Do you read this? This is, this is powerful. You know? I'm just a baby. I'm not... She's coming. She's coming along. This is awesome to, uh, to see this um, coming into the faith like she has. And uh, hey, we appreciate you all. If y'all ever call us, we'll, we'll be right here, sitting right here, and uh, we'll do a video chat. Look us up on Facebook Messenger. Uh, if you don't have that, email me. My email is on the is in the bottom. I'll put it there. M knots 510 at gmail.com uh, and we'll figure out a way to visit all right because uh, time is short and the body of Christ is we're getting together you know there's people all over the world now uh, coming together and uh, I watch every video I can get a hold of that comes up uh, we watched Nelson put his together twice today he put two of them up today and Rob and uh, Martin and Jess, I, whoever puts them up, we just put them up. We and we we watch them and we glean from. Them. We get information. We use it. And we we are encouraged by it. So we appreciate every one of you. All and right? don't forget, Mr. Leo. Mr. Yeah. Leo, yep, Mr. Leo. He's our buddy over in Holland and Matt. I mean, there's a Matt, there's, yeah. uh, Judy. There's just a bunch of you, ain't there? I mean, they Jax, get, everybody. Jackie, yeah, Paul. I don't know. They're just a bunch of you. We and I, I, I can't keep going. I'm, I'm forgetting stuff. So <laughs> we'll have uh, Mortal Fury guys. You know, you got Chris and, and and I'm talking guys. And she is here. So all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, life is awesome. Uh, yes. The neat thing, we enjoy life because we're in it. But we don't want this to continue. We, we are so ready to be out of this and in our celestial body. We're looking forward to the snatching away uh, very much so. I mean, it's right. We That's what we're living for. We're living for the end of this era, this, this wicked eon to be done. Uh, but in the meantime, I've got grandkids. I'm enjoying them. I enjoy my wife. I, uh, I enjoy myself. Hey, you know, if I'm by myself oh my or with God. somebody, I have fun. It don't matter. I, <laughs> I read. It don't matter. <laughs> so, anyway, it's been fun, and uh, I hope this has been an uh, uplifting video for y'all. So, uh, look us up. All right. We love and appreciate every one of you. And I shouldn't have started naming names. I, I keep forgetting them. All right, but. Anything you want to say before we click it off? Have a good day. Have a good day. You'll see Love this. Love you on, guys. 
I'll see you there. This is on Sunday morning when y'all pick this one up. So, yeah, we love you. We'll talk to you later. This is my thing that turns it off. What do you call oh, him? It's a stylist. A stylist. I call it a style one time. You want the style? Well, it's one of the things you touch it and it goes away. Watch. <laughs>